with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The Dolphins' backfield won't be at full strength Thursday night against the Bills, according to head coach Mike McDaniel, who announced Raheem Mostert won't suit up after suffering a chest injury in Week 1, and Devon Achan is likely a game-time decision due to an ankle issue. It may be another week before 49ers running back Christian McCaffrey is back on the playing field, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport, who's reporting he's a long shot to play against the Vikings. However, McCaffrey says his mentality is, quote, I'm playing this week. The Rams officially placed wide receiver Puka Nakua on injured reserve today with a knee injury, along with offensive linemen Steve Avila and Joe Noteboom. All three players will miss a minimum of four games. Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski confirming tight end David Njoku has been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Jags due to an ankle injury he suffered week one against the Cowboys. This is Ben Edible Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. All right, when it comes to getting life insurance for your family, a lot of excuses can get in the way. But ask yourself this, if something were to happen to me, who would pay the mortgage, the kids' education, and the other bills? Then forget the excuses and check out Ethos Life, the online easy way to get life insurance in 10 minutes. Ethos has rates that you can afford, like a $500,000 policy for a 40-year-old male starting at $1 a day or $30 a month with a few health questions and no medical exam. Get your free quote right now at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Not available in all states. Rates do vary. Lowe's knows it's easier to make the right calls when you have the right team. That's why our Lowe's Red Vest Associates can help with game time decisions. Plus, use in-store mode on the Lowe's app to find what you need. Under pressure at home and want it soon? Order online by 2 p.m. to get it same day. Same day valid on eligible in-stock items and select zip codes only. Subject to driver availability. Fees vary based on purchase, exclusions, and more terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash same day delivery for details. We are the Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXOL Centro, California. Home of Thursday Night Football, the Bills and the Dolphins this evening. Our coverage starts at uh, 430 this afternoon thursday night football no you don't have to pay for another streaming service yeah we give it to you for free and it's better coverage ah yes uh, it is a thursday 12th day of september 2024 i'm carol in the newsroom wearing a sweater today jared Anchando. you noticed a difference huh <laughs> hey it's nice out there i'll yes. get that okay we have turned the corner okay that's good to know yes yes and oh yeah it, it, okay what's 100 degrees when at night it's dropping into the uh, mid to upper 60s right exactly ah i can handle that okay and, and we'll tell you more about that coming up the uh, typical for the Imperial Valley middle of September is when we start to get the west winds and uh, the daytime temperatures drop and the nighttime temperatures drop and uh, everybody is happy. Except there are some people that are going to complain about everything. Well, it's windy. I don't like it windy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, those are the people that, you know, that glass is half empty. Let's see. Oh, we mentioned Thursday night football, right? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, the reviews are coming in about Tom Brady and uh, his new job as a uh, football analyst for uh, one of the major networks. And so far, they've said, <laughs> okay and just kind of left it at that <laughs> but they're paying what you know 28 gazillion macaroonies to this guy and what's uh, what what may well happen you know he's trying to buy a a, um, a minority stake in the las vegas raiders and if that goes through, he will not have access to all of the pregame conferences and meetings with the coaches and the players and all that information. Uh, he's not going to have access to it. Uh, that will probably put him at a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, if he's going to be uh, doing doing the talking and all that. Yeah. The reporting. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, in the news. Uh, fascinating. China is IKEA's fastest growing market. I find that very interesting. I mean, they went from building the Great Wall to assembling a so-so bookcase, right? <laughs> okay. You can get lost in IKEA. Yeah. Anybody that has ever worked on assembling IKEA furniture, <laughs> you know the meanings of frustration. <laughs> okay. Birthdays, are you ready? Birthday time. Okay. Dallas star Linda Gray, 84. Maria Muldaur, still uh, waiting for midnight at the Oasis, is 82. Actor Joe Pantolino is uh, 73. Uh, Jerry Beckley of America is 72. He's not related. It's Beckley, not Buckley. And um, he is with the group America. Okay. Not, I mean, well, yeah, he's with the country too. Original MTV VJ. Back when they played videos, as in their name implies, Nina Blackwood, 72. Actor Rachel Ward, 67. Actor Amy Yazbak is 62. Actor Darren E. Burroughs, 58. Comedian Louis C.K., 57. Actor Will Chase, 54. Josh Hopkins is 54. Actor Lauren Stemiel is 48. Actor Kelly Jenrett, 46, actor Ben McKenzie, 46, Ruben Stuttered, whatever happened to him after American Idol, he's 46 now, singer, actor Jennifer Hudson, 43, actor Alfie Allen, 38, actor Emmy Rossum is 38, and actor Colin Ford is 28, local birthdays coming up. <laughs> The tradition continues. High school football on AM 1230. John Driffle and Carol Buckley will be on the air with the best Friday night matchup. High school football on KXO AM 1230 is brought to you by La Fonda Bar and Grill, Intercare, Central Union High School District, the CB Stop in Calexico, Rotor Rooter of the Imperial Valley, Mr. Temple's Cantina and Sports Bar in El Centro. Friday night, John and I will be at Cal Jones Field, and it will be Otay Ranch. Uh, they are uh, invading the Spartans turf. We'll be on the air at 645 on AM 1230. Let's wish happy birthday to Dave Hartsock, Gloria Holmes, Josie Gutierrez, John Richard Diaz, Bradley Greer Walters, Yolanda Calderon, Lorena Montano, Jose Dorame, Robin Zamudio, Jedediah Keating, Emily Gerardo, Joseph Valbuena, Lizette Vallejo, Esteban Yanis Orozco, Imelda Ortega, Jesse Gonzalez, Zanetta Potter, Julie Villanueva, Maribel Velasco, Ralph Urias, Melanie Ramirez, Stephanie McNish, Martha Alcantar, and Juanita Martinez. Happy birthday from KXO. Okie dokie. And let's see what else is. Oh, BG's frontman Barry Gibb recently turned 78. We celebrated. And uh, of course, these days, Staying Alive is not only his most famous song, but also his daily mantra. <laughs> We've got news. Are you ready? Youth time. Let's go with World in. Headlines right now brought to you by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District delivering real-time updates about the air that you breathe. Numbers from the government put the share of foreign-born people in the U.S. at its highest rate in more than a century. CBS's Wendy Gillette. The Census Bureau's annual American Consumer Survey finds 14.3% of U.S. residents were born outside of the country. The highest percentage since 1910. Grand scenes weaken to a tropical depression less than a day after slamming into Louisiana as a Category 2 hurricane. Kenner Police Chief Keith Connolly says they got almost a foot of rain near New Orleans. This storm, from my calculation, stayed over us for about an hour and a half to two hours. History made in space by two private astronauts who took a walk outside a SpaceX capsule today. CBS's Mark Strassman. First out of the hatch, Jared Isaacman, a 41-year-old billionaire entrepreneur and the mission's commander, he got right to work moving his arms around to test the mobility of these new spacesuits, one of the major objectives of this mission. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez.
The Imperial County Air Pollution Control District delivers real-time information about the quality of the air you breathe. Visit the website at apcd.imperialcounty.org to stay informed about air quality around the valley. The website also includes information for upcoming meetings, programs, and there's access to the dust cams set up around the valley. Visit apcd.imperialcounty.org today. California Headline News, continuing fire activity over a wide area of Southern California. The Lime Fire in San Bernardino County, nearly 37,000 acres, forcing residents from their homes. The decision to leave, not easy for some. It's kind of difficult when they tell you to leave and you don't know anything about your neighbors, your friends, your home. Running Springs resident Ricky Garcia, more than 65,000 structures threatened, a person suspected of starting it behind bars. The airport fire burning in Riverside and Orange counties, bringing its own weather conditions. What's unique about this area is what we call the Lake Elsinore effect. Um, and because of the situation of the lake and this large body of water and the steepness of the terrain um, and the ocean on the other side, it creates uh, this Elsinore effect. And we'll get two or three wind shifts throughout the day. Oh, holiday with Cal Fire, 5% containment on that fire, which has burned 23,000 acres, nearly 50,000 acres burned by the Bridge Fire in L.A. and San Bernardino counties. Gas prices in the state, 4.75 a gallon, up 10 cents from last week. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Log on to imperialvalleyair.org for real-time information about the air that you breathe. I found out that one of my players was vaping. I brought him in and asked him, where did this stuff come from? He said, it's better than you think, coach. He had told me that almost everybody in my team was vaping. The next day, all the parents came in and I said, hey, you as parents need to do your part. You guys need to figure out how, why, and when this stuff is happening and we got to get it fixed. Coach Sanchez and his team took vaping head on. Learn how he and other Californians are beating big tobacco at undo.org. Shop the Sherwin-Williams 4-Day Super Sale and get 40% off paints and stains from September 13th through the 16th. With prices starting at $29.39, it's the perfect time to transform your space with color. Whether you're looking to revamp your bedroom, living room, or home office, we have you covered with bold hues, soothing neutrals, and everything in between. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. It's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. There are three of them in the Imperial Valley, and of course, Quick Lane with mobile service vans that come to you and don't charge extra. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. KXO News. Calexico Police release urgent alert. Calexico Police say an armed and dangerous murder suspect is at large. Here's George Gale with details. The alert was issued Wednesday morning. Uh, Calexico Police say they were actively searching for a suspect involved in a murder that occurred Tuesday. Department says that around 7.14 Tuesday evening, officers were dispatched to the 2200 block of Estrada Boulevard in Calexico in response to a report of a woman shot in the face. Witnesses reported a domestic uh, dispute uh, between the victim and the suspect before the shooting, shooting took place. Clexico police officer arrived at the scene and discovered bloody drag marks leading to a dirt lot where a woman bleeding from her injury was found in need of immediate medical attention. The uh, suspect, identified as 47-year-old Augustine Baca III, a Calexico resident, was seen by the officer fleeing the scene on foot. Clexico police, with U.S. Border Patrol agents and county sheriff's uh, deputies, swiftly developed a perimeter uh, to capture the suspect. At 7.21 p.m., they came under fire from the uh, backyard of the suspect's house. Uh, because of limited visibility and a thick brush, officers were unable to return fire. Fortunately, no one was injured. An extensive search was put together. However, the su suspect remains at large. Victim was described as a 29 year old female resident of Clexico. Baca is wanted for murder and is considered armed and dangerous. Public is urged to uh, not approach him if they see him, but call police and remain vigilant. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. 
and the weather breaks. Temperatures are dropping across the region. According to National Weather Service, a cooling trend will bring temperatures in the Imperial Valley towards normal over the weekend and below normal temperatures by the beginning of next week. This will, however, create breezy to windy conditions across the valley. High temperatures by the weekend should be in the 100-degree range, and by Monday, highs should be in the upper 80s to very low 90s. Overnight, lows will be in the low 60s. West winds could reach up to 20 miles per hour starting Sunday. KXO Local News Time, 743. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for Hill Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at LCentralMotors.net. El Centro Motors Mobile Service Vans. What a great idea. Service dog missing. A Tuesday afternoon traffic accident left a man in intensive care and his service dog missing. Here's George Gale. The accident happened at about 2.45 p.m. Tuesday afternoon on Interstate 8, about two miles west of Dunaway Road. A truck went out of control and rolled over. Driver sustained serious injuries and is in a San Diego hospital in intensive care. Man's dog, his service dog, a Jack Russell Terrier named Morty, took off into the desert and hasn't been seen since. The uh, man and his family are asking uh, for help from anyone in locating Morty. Uh, he was last seen in the area of Interstate 8 and Dunaway Road. He's wearing a Chargers car collar. If you locate uh, the dog, you can call KXO at 760-352-1230, and we will notify the family. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Other traffic mayhem, a vehicle versus pedestrian. El Centro Police are investigating a Wednesday evening traffic accident. The accident occurred shortly after 8 p.m. at Adams and Imperial Avenues. A reported 35-year-old man was struck by a vehicle and sustained major injuries. The accident remains under investigation. That's it for page one of local news. Page two and weather coming up next. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Quick Lane. I, there's three of them in the valley and mobile service vans that come to you and remember quick lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment did you know that california offers various programs and services to support older adults adults with disabilities and family caregivers from health insurance counseling to caregiver support and information on elder abuse the aging resource guide has it all and let's not forget about the friendship line available 24 seven for those who may need a friendly conversation. Dive into the aging resource guide today at aging.ca.gov and discover the support you need because together we can ensure every older adult in California gets the help they deserve. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by burgers and beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at burgers and beer. Line fire update. Cal Fire releases line fire update. Here's George Gale. It was released a Wednesday night. The uh, fire in San Bernardino County was first reported September 5th. It has since burned 36,481 acres. Cal Fire officials say it is only 18% contained. Evacuation orders were given due to an immediate threat to life. Two evacuation centers have been set up and one animal shelter. Road closures include highways 38, 18, and 330. There are 3,179 personnel fighting the fire, including a strike team from Imperial County. They're using 22 helicopters, 386 engines, 63 dozers, and 28 water tenders. Officials confirm three injuries to fire personnel and civilians. Imperial Valley Strike Team made up of firefighters and equipment from the Imperial County Fire Department, Oatville, Brawley, and Westmoreland uh, Fire Departments has been deployed to that fire. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Salton Sea Authority Board meets. Salton Sea Authority Board of Directors, me, uh, they meet today. The meeting will be called to order at 10 a.m. at the Coachella Valley Water District Administration Building in Palm Desert. The board will receive reports on federal activities as well as a state advocacy report.
And we have a heat-related illness update. County Health Department releases an update. Here's George Gale. It is a heat-related illness update. According to the report, uh, heat-related illnesses have increased since the last report. Heat-related deaths, however, have remained at 10. There has been 11 heat strokes reported, 63 cases of heat exhaustion, and 46 heat fatigue or dehydration cases. The uh, numbers uh, for the report are provided by El Centro Regional Medical Center, Pioneers Memorial Health Care District, and the Imperial County Coroner's Office. National Weather Service says temperatures are expected to cool uh, to uh, close to seasonal normals for the uh, next few days beginning today. For more information on these and other local news stories, go to the KXO website. I'm George Gale reporting for KXO Local News. Mexican Independence Day. Mexican Independence Independence Day is just around the corner. The actual event is celebrated on September 15th and 16th in Mexico. Imperial County celebrations are scheduled for several days. A Viva Mexico art exhibit open Tuesday in Calexico. The exhibit will uh, be available at the Carmen Dorazo Cultural Art Center in Calexico through September 19th. A mariachi celebration will be held September 14th, Saturday, September 14th, in Calipatria at the Latin American Club. A happy Independence Day Mexico dance will be it held in Nyland on Saturday, September 14th. They will also be viewing the Canelo fight at the event. A Mexico Independence de Grito will be held at 12 a.m. on September 14th at Hidalgo Hall in Brawley. A Grito de Independencia will be held at Crummit Park in Calexico on September 14th from 6 to 11 p.m. A Grito Sabor, uh, Mexico, will be held September 21st from 6 to 10 p.m. at Buckland Park in El Centro. KXO News Time, 749. Weather next. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? Get drink specials all day like Margarita Monday, Tawny Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Try one of our weekday lunch specials that include a soft drink from only $8 and up for September Happy Mexican Independence Day. Get Modelo Especial 16 ounce for $5.50 and 22 ounce for $6.50. And try our enchilada suizas. Burgers and Beer with five locations. Probably serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says temperatures will continue to cool across the region going through early next week with readings below normal as early as late this weekend. Breezy to locally windy conditions will develop today. 112 the High in the Valley yesterday, 68 the overnight low. It will be sunny today with a high near 103. West wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming south. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 72. West wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast after midnight. Sunny on Friday with a high near 101. West-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming calm. Saturday, sunny with a high again near 101. East-northeast wind about 5 miles an hour. Sunday, sunny with a high near 102. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming south-southwest in the afternoon. We have 78 degrees, 23% relative humidity, wind out of the north at 325, gusting up to 10 miles an hour. Air quality in uh, Brawley, El Centro, and Westmoreland is good, moderate in uh, Calexico, and unhealthy for sensitive groups in Nyland. Local news, page two of the weather, brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the best burgers in the valley. Daily lunch specials, Monday through Friday, and happy hour, 3 till 6 p.m. every day. Football season is here. 360 Business Products and KXO Radio are giving away three prizes this month. That's three chances to win. This month's prize packs have a value up to $50 each. Featuring a Dymo label maker and Sharpie's new pen set. Enter the monthly giveaway by going to kxoradio.com. Click the 360 Business Giveaway link and enter your information. You only need to enter once. Winners will be announced at the end of the month. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Four schools will depart the Mountain West Conference and join the Pac-12. The Pac-12 Board of Directors 
keep in mind, there's only two schools left in the PAC-12, Oregon State and Washington State, have approved the applications from Boise State, Colorado State, Fresno State, and the Aztecs of San Diego State to begin uh, the 2026-2027 academic year membership in the PAC-12, a big step up for the Aztecs. Major League Baseball action, the Pirates over the Marlins 3-1, Guardians top the White Sox 6-4, Mets beat the Blue Jays 6-2, Diamondbacks beat up on the Rangers 14-4, Tigers top the Rockies 7-4, Phillies edge the Rays 3-2, Nationals beat the Braves 5-1, Yankees slid by the Royals 4-3, Twins top the Angels 6-4, in 10 innings, the Red Sox over the Orioles 5-3, Cardinals nipped the Reds 2-1. to one. Athletics over the Astros 5-4. Giants pounded the Brewers 13-2. Dodgers beat up on the Cubs 10-8. And the Padres lost their bats in the Northwest. Mariners beat the Padres 5-2. Two. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today and there's football tonight it's nfl thursday night football the bills and the dolphins we've got games starting at uh, 4 30 on am 1230 and high school football tonight southwest at vincent okay it's southwest visiting vincent the home team is vincent but they play the game at southwest okie dokie uh, that game tonight that's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Football season means hungry fans. And Grocery Outlet is your choice for MVB. Most valued bargains, like Frito-Lay party-sized chips, assorted varieties for only $3.99. And Thomas Farms 93% lean grass-fed ground beef, one pound package for only $4.99. These offers last through September 17th, so go with your hurry-up offense and get to Grocery Outlet today. Grocery Outlet, bargain market. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal. The only postal box service offering 24-hour a day, 365 days a year service. Southwest Postal at 4th and Heil, El Centro. General Mills says they will sell its North American yogurt business to French dairy firms Groupe Lacté and Sodial in a $2.1 billion deal. Reuters reported in April that General Mills was working with investment bank J.P. Morgan Chase to attract interest from potential buyers for the business, which houses brands such as Yoplait and Liberté. In other news, little has gone right for Boeing over the last five years. By this time tomorrow, the troubled company could add another mess to its growing list of problems. A massive strike by 33,000 of its workers that could stop airplane production in America's largest exporter and deal a blow to the U.S. economy. Boeing faces a crucial union vote that could send workers walking off the job at a parts center in Oregon and two airplane factories and a fabricating plant in the Seattle area. Among other benefit increases, uh, the contract proposed by the company would increase union members paid by at least 25% over four years. Union leadership in announcing a tentative agreement last weekend called it the best contract we've negotiated in our history, but workers are angry. They feel they were pressured to agree to two deals years ago that stripped them of their traditional pension plans and made them pay more for health insurance. Taking a look at the big board, mixed right now. The Dow off 47 points at 40,814. The S&P 500 up six at 5516. 
The NASDAQ is up 50 points at 17,446. Gold jumped 30, I'd make it $40.20 an ounce. You want an ounce of gold? $2,582.60, but act now because it'll change. And oil up a buck 27 a barrel. Southwest Security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right here at Imperial and Coachella Valleys. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. It will be sunny today with a high near 103. West wind about 5 miles an hour, then turning out of the south. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 72. West wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast after midnight. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 101. West-southwest wind about 5 miles an hour. Right now, downtown El Centro, we're up to 80 degrees, 22% relative humidity, wind out of the north at 3 to 5 miles an hour. Air quality good, Brawley, El Centro, and Westmoreland, moderate in Calexico, unhealthy for sensitive groups in Nyland. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you, your home, and your business. Friday nights are for football, and we have it on KXO AM 1230. Catch the action with Carol Buckley and John Driffle as we bring you the best matchup of the week with either the Central Spartans or the Southwest Eagles. <laughs> High School Football is brought to you by Ozoaza Mobile Auto Service, Southwest Postal Service, Imperial Scoop Factory at Imperial and Acatillo in El Centro, Jersey Mike's, the UPS store, Case Carne in El Centro, and Kennedy's Carne in Yuma. Friday night, it's Otay Ranch at Central. We are KXO, El Centro, California. This is CBS. Sponsored by T-Mobile. I'm Steve Kathan. A morning earthquake in Southern California rattles the L.A. area. A magnitude 4.7 centered north of Malibu. David Goldstein is a former KCAL TV reporter. It was a quick jolt. You felt a rock for a, a second. Mm. And it was a short roll, a jolt and a short roll. And it didn't go very long, but the aftershocks and everything were on alert right now. No word on any major damage. Major flooding, though, and power outages in the wake of Hurricane France seen in Louisiana. This storm, from my calculation, stayed over us for about an hour and a half to two hours. Hurricane Francine dumped nearly a foot of water on Kenner, a suburb about seven miles west of New Orleans. Police Chief Keith Connolly says the pumps worked overnight to drain the city. The water has subsided. Meanwhile, in Terrebonne and Lafourche Parish's home suffered both flood and wind damage. Lafourche Parish President Archie Chasson says sheriff's deputies there rescued 26 people who were trapped by flood waters in a public housing complex. We're going to work with the housing authority to figure out exactly how much water entered those units and what we have to do to fix them to, to return those residents to some sort of normalcy as quickly as we can. Ian Ozan for CBS News, New Orleans. New York's highest court has dismissed former President Trump's bid to appeal the gag order in his hush money case. And a New York grand jury has charged Harvey Weinstein with additional crimes prosecutors have not specified. The first commercial spacewalk carried out today by two on board the SpaceX mission. Our space consultant Bill Harwood says it was about testing new spacesuits. What they did today was put those new spacesuits through their paces. They tested the motion, the mobility of the joints, how easy or difficult it was to move. And the engineers, of course, will take that information and plug that back into the continued development. So all in all, a great first step for SpaceX. Very impressive. Now to Kentucky, where Governor Andy Bashir updates the prolonged search for the man wanted for shooting at vehicles on an interstate. They're bringing the most modern technology to search some of the most rugged terrain that anyone could hide in. They haven't found this individual yet, but that's not for lack of trying. A new Census Bureau survey says 14.3 percent of U.S. residents were born outside the country, the highest mark since 1910. 
Two competing automakers have decided to cooperate, as we hear from Jeff Gilbert from WWJ Radio. GM and Hyundai say they will work together to develop and manufacture new products. This is far more comprehensive than other deals GM has had with other car makers in the past. It comes as companies face rising costs and more competition from China. GM CEO Mary Barra says they want to unlock the scale and creativity of both companies. This is CBS News. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. Get the savings you want on America's largest 5G network. Visit T-Mobile.com slash choice 5G and start saving today. It's better over here. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has an exclusive rate plan just for you. Right now, get two lines of talk, text, and data for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, you can get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. That's right, a free 5G phone. Experience all this and more on America's largest 5G network. So why wait? At T-Mobile, customers 55 and up can get two lines of talk, text, and data for only 30 bucks a line. Just go to T-Mobile.com slash choice55 or visit your local store to make the switch. With auto pay using debit or bank account, plus taxes and fees, 45% off two lines versus AT&T starter and Verizon welcome. Plan benefits vary. Free phones up to $300 off with 24 monthly bill credits and qualifying new line for well-qualified customers, plus tax and $35 device connection charge. Contact us before canceling your entire account to continue remaining bill credits, bill credits, and if you pay off device early, see details at T-Mobile.com. An ancient jar accidentally smashed by a boy at a museum in Israel is now back on display. His father had explained his four-year-old tried to peek inside the treasure at the Hecht Museum in Haifa when it tipped over and broke into pieces. The vessel, most likely used to hold wine a thousand or so years B.C., was pieced together by restoration experts using 3D technology high-resolution videos, and special glue. It's been reinstalled in its usual spot with a new sign that reads, please do not touch. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Taylor Swift won the top award at the MTV Video Music Awards for Video of the Year. She took home seven overall, bringing her career total to 30, tying Beyonce's all-time mark. She also asked fans to register to vote. More than 300,000 have used the Instagram link in her Harris endorsement note to pursue that. Steve Kaith and CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. 